Back by popular demand, a 40-something-year-old guy with a dad bod in a robe. Let's get into it. So all joking aside, I wanted to uh, come in here. It is late at night, and uh, I just wanted to quickly run over some of my expectations, my wish list, if you will, for E3, and some of the games that I am really hoping to see some news from at E3. Uh, most of my wish list is from Nintendo or Xbox, for the most part, because those are the current systems that I interact with. But uh, before I get into that wish list, I just want to run over some housekeeping issues with you guys. There's going to be some really interesting things happening on the channel here uh, in the next few months. So I'm taking on a whole new project, and I'm not willing to really announce anything at this point in time, other than to say I am embarking on a journey to create some some digital assets that can complement this channel. Uh, and I need some extra time to do that, so I'm announcing a bit of a new schedule, if you will, for YouTube for the rest of the summer. I am going to do my absolute best to upload uh, my main video for the week every Tuesday afternoon. Uh, that'll be Tuesday afternoon... Eastern Standard Time, my time zone, uh, and then, of course, there'll be little videos like this from time to time, uh, where I come in late at night to respond to something or whatever, but the main video for the week will be Tuesday afternoon, and I'm gonna try to stick to that schedule, uh, and then the rest of whatever content gets generated on the channel is going to be more casual stuff, or I'm just responding to news or that sort of thing, because I really need to devote some time to this new project, which is rather gargantuan, to be honest with you. So, more news on that to come, but I just thought I would give you a heads up so that you would know, uh, you know, what's going on in terms of scheduling on the channel. Anyway, let's get into E3. So, I have booked three days off work for E3. I was not able to get all four days off, but I do have the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which really covers... Most of what I'm interested in, because the uh, the Xbox event, I believe, is Sunday afternoon my time, and the Nintendo is Tuesday afternoon, so that's covering most of the stuff. I'm not going to be streaming those events, there are lots of people doing that, but I will be taking notes, and I will be capturing some footage, and I will be sharing some videos of both the Xbox and the Nintendo event over that time period. But let's get into some of the things that I'm expecting to see uh, here this E3 2021, or things that I really think we should see or hear from. Starting quickly with Nintendo here, I really feel like, uh, with Animal Crossing being currently Nintendo's still best seller, as far as I can tell, I think Animal Crossing is probably going to get an announcement of some kind, whether it's new DLC or something. And what I would really like to see with Animal Crossing, because I have pretty much run the course with Animal Crossing New Horizons at this point. I put about 40 or 50 hours into it, beat the main story, unlocked all the stuff that I needed to unlock, and modified my island and that sort of thing, but I'm not really into the whole, you know, terraforming thing and building your island, decorating your house, uh, you know. I mostly just liked the the busy work of unlocking everything and, uh, you know, visiting the different islands and that sort of thing. So I think Animal Crossing, Nintendo needs to announce uh, some kind of DLC, or whether it's paid or free, that allows you to have some more progression in the game outside of just freeform terraforming and that sort of thing. Whether it's a new activity like they announced with the underwater segments there last year, uh, you know, whether there's some new collecting mechanic or some new quest or event or series of story elements or something to draw people back into Animal Crossing and keep it relevant. I think that's probably pretty likely and certainly something that I would like to see to give me a reason to go back into that game that I love so dearly. 
The other thing that I'm really interested in from Nintendo, and that's coming up pretty soon, is Game Builder Garage, and I'm pretty interested in that game, and I want to see more from it, some more details, because we don't know at this point in time exactly whether this is just kind of, they're throwing it out there as a game building software, essentially, or whether it's going to have more of the features that we would see in something like Mario Maker, where uh, you could play other people's levels and sh like we know we're going to be able to share with friends and collaborate with friends, but I'm interested to know whether there's going to be uh, some kind of online connectivity with the general public out there that we can play other people's levels and upload levels like we could in Mario Maker. I want to see more from that game. I expect to see a full-length trailer from that. Uh, or some more details in Nintendo's presentation. Moving over to Xbox, and specifically Game Pass, some things that I really want to see come to Game Pass. For one thing, the new Mass Effect Legendary uh, Collection. Uh, Mass Effect games are already on Xbox, and they're already optimized for the Series X and uh, the Xbox One X uh, you can play those games already on Game Pass, but it would be really great to have the Legendary Collection there, ha have perhaps the best versions of the games possible. Uh, Starfield, I think with uh, Xbox having bought Bethesda and Starfield having been in the works, we heard about it last year, I think it would be good to see a little more about Starfield. We really know nothing about Starfield other than it's some kind of role-playing game that happens in space. So give us a little bit more, maybe it's too early to get gameplay, but it would be nice to at least see some cinematics or hear a little bit about Starfield to kind of get us excited because I think Microsoft will be pushing to get Starfield exclusive to Game Pass pretty soon. Uh, I, I don't know how far along development is, but I'm very interested in this game. Uh, the next thing we do know about uh, is coming out is Psychonauts. Uh, I absolutely loved Psychonauts on the Xbox and the PS2. Fantastic platformer with a really cool story. And I'm pretty anxious to see a bit of a deep dive into the new Psychonauts, the, the, the gameplay mechanics and stuff. I really want to hear more about that. Obviously, I'm pretty sure that is coming to Game Pass Day 1. But uh, let's, let's have a trailer that would be fantastic. Uh, Forza Horizon 5. Um, we have heard that this is going to be cross-gen, that it's going to be on the Series X and the Xbox One. Uh, I only have an Xbox One, so I'm hoping that Horizon 5 comes to Game Pass day one. I'm pretty sure it will, but I would definitely like to see some gameplay from that and find out what the story setup is for that, because every Horizon game has a little bit of a different vibe. Uh, the last one was in Britain, the one before that was in Australia, so I'm interested to see where we're going next with the Horizon series. And then Grounded. Grounded currently has like a preview or something on uh, Game Pass right now, but I would really like to see the full game uh, show up on Game Pass. Uh, I still haven't been able to play the game, but it looks totally cool. It's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the video game. Uh, and it just looks like a lot of fun. I'd really like to see that come to Game Pass. Uh, and then moving back to Nintendo real quickly, obviously everybody is hoping to see something more from Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever they're going to call it. Uh, I think it's probably a 50-50 bet that they are going to show Breath of the Wild 2 as kind of the the grand finale of the Nintendo event at E3, at least I certainly hope they do, but maybe they don't want to overshadow Skyward Sword, which is launching in a few weeks. Uh, I would definitely like to see more from No More Heroes 3. Um, you know, get some more information. Are we going to get an amiibo? Is there going to be quality of life stuff stuck behind the No More Heroes amiibo? I don't know. Let's wait and see. Uh, and then... Of course, everybody's been asking for years since they announced this in, what was it, 2017, Metroid Prime 4. Like, come on, guys, we know Retro Studios is working on this. Uh, they've had, you know, quite some time now, at least they've, they've had a hold of this for at least a year or so. They should be able to give us some little tidbit of information more than a placeholder card. Uh, you know, give us something. 
Uh, and then, of course, Square Enix just had their event for Dragon Quest a few, I guess, a week ago. I would really like to see a little bit more, uh, like an extended trailer or an extended teaser for Dragon Quest XII. And we've got heavy rumors of Final Fantasy XVI coming in the near future. So I'm really hoping for a full length, like two or three minute trailer, at least for Final Fantasy XVI. So that pretty much wraps up the stuff that I am really hoping to see this E3. Of course, I'm interested in what all the other companies have to offer, Sony, Ubisoft, etc. But this is the stuff that I'm really hoping to see. What are you hoping to see at E3 this year? And let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to have me, uh, you know, pay attention, look out for, and report on to you over the week of E3. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Stay classy.